There are exactly two steps you need to undertake to remove ExpressVine ads. The first one is we're going to go into the control panel and remove the installed program and anything else that may seem suspicious. If we don't do this first, then ExpressVine is just going to keep on coming back. If you don't know how to do this, just open control panel, click uninstall or change program, then click here on the dates to arrange the programs. Look at the most recent ones. Since the virus was recently added, it should be here. But I gotta warn you, viruses have gotten smarter with time. So now you may even encounter some that provide a backdate. So definitely look around and uninstall everything that you don't remember adding. Now you need to enter safe mode. Every version of Windows has a slightly different way of entering safe mode. So if you don't know how to do it, or you're not feeling comfortable doing it on your own, there's a link below with a detailed guide that I've prepared. We'll fast forward this part for you. First things first, let's open the key registry. You do this by typing into the search field, regedit. If you're not feeling comfortable, don't worry. You can't really mess things up here. Just follow what I'm about to do and you'll be fine. It's all a matter of finding the right registry key to edit. Click on Current User, Software, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, Main, and here it is, the Start page. Let's delete it. For Google and Firefox, things are even easier. For Firefox, open the browser. On the History drop-down, click on Clear Recent History. Choose everything. Make sure you checked all the boxes available. Now we'll reset the browser. Choose Troubleshooting Information and reset browser. Finish. And we're done. Just get rid of this. Now for Chrome. Open the application, doesn't matter from where. Under the menu button, click on Settings. Then History and clear browser data. If you don't want to delete all your history and you know approximately when you caught the adware, feel free to delete to a specific period of time. Simply check all the boxes except passwords and then clear browser data. Now we can move on to resetting the browser. Back to settings and all the way down to the bottom. Click reset settings. All we have to do now is restart the computer and make sure that we got rid of the adware. If this video was helpful, please press the like button or you can subscribe to our channel. And if say you still had trouble, write to us on our Google Plus profile and we'll assist you with any problems.